what are the features of bladder extrophy that you need to know first thing uh, the bladder mucosa will be exposed to the outside this will result in two things first of all there will be total urinary incontinence so there will be no urinary control in these patients and secondly there will be a risk of adenocarcinoma of the urinary bladder in later life second thing there will be separation of rectal muscles thirdly there will be a slightly downward displacement of the umbilicus we are not talking about umbilicus with relation to bladder we are talking about in general as compared to a normal child the umbilicus is more inferiorly placed we are not saying please remember we are not saying that it will be uh, below the bladder mucosa no it will be above the bladder mucosa but its normal location is slightly displaced downwards then there will be widely separated pubic rami so the pelvis will be abnormal and the pubic rami will be widely separated many of these patients may have manifestations like gait abnormalities so a wide based gait may or may not be present but other than that no specific feature will be seen because of this then inguinal hernias will be common in these patients there will be short stature most of these children are found to have height for age below uh, minus 2 standard deviation of the mean and uh, genitalia abnormalities obviously will be present in case of males the genitalia abnormalities are more striking males will have epispadias what we find in these patients are total epispadias often associated with a dorsal cordy details of epispadias what is dorsal cordy we have discussed in a separate video so i am not elaborating on that then there will be a short shallow scrotum and there will be a short penile length usually we say that the penile length penis length in these males is half of what is expected for that age then females will have a bifid clitoris and they may have a widely separated labia majora now have a look at these two images this is a male child with bladder extrophy this is a female child with bladder extrophy you can see the urinary bladder is exposed to the outside the bladder mucosa is exposed so the male is having a short phallus uh, with epispadia and female is having a bifid uh, clitoris and uh, widely separated labia majora in the female